hello in this video we will see a driven rc network so far we discussed driven rl network in this video we will discuss driven rc network the method for solving driven rc is same as the method we used for driven rl it will have two parts one is natural response another one is forced response instead of inductor current we will have capacitor voltage every other thing will be same same method we will follow here okay so we'll take on directly one example in this circuit given circuit we have to find vc voltage across this capacitor and it current flowing through this resistor we should get expression for both so here a switch which is uh, at t equal to 0 it switches from place a to place b that means when t less than 0 the switch is connected to a a part is connected to the switch when t is equal to 0 that time it will disconnect from the a and it will connect to the b so b will be connected to the circuit okay and we have two voltage source 120 ohm 50 volt and we have resistors here and one more resistor here and we have capacitor with the capacitance value of 50 milli 50 millifarad okay now we will see when t is less than 0 the switch position is with a it is not connected to b so equivalent circuit if you draw for this one you can see here the switch is connected to a b is nowhere connected so you will get to separated circuit here this 50 volt is connected to 60 ohm and 200 ohm and this 120 volt will be connected to 10 ohm and 50 ohm and 50 milli okay when t is greater than 0 that time switch will be connected to b switch is connected to b if switch is connected to b what are the things connected 50 volt 60 ohm then this from this b this node is connected to this node then we have 200 ohm parallel, 50 ohm parallel and 50 millifarad parallel. So you will have 50 volt, 60 ohm, they are in series and they together in parallel with 250 and 50 milli. Just see the circuit, switch is connected to B. So 120 volt will not come into picture because this will be open, the switch is connected to B, A will be open. Okay. Now step 1 in this we will find initial voltage so we need vc of 0 plus and i of 0 plus because the question is you have to find expression for vc and i of t and we already know since capacitor voltage will have a exponential decay plus force response every every current will have the same format okay it will have two parts one is exponent uh, one is natural response another one is force response okay so in this vc of 0 minus we will calculate vc of 0 minus for that we have to take this circuit this consider this circuit so what is the vc of 0 minus so under dc condition because the switch was in the position here for a longer period of time so it it has attained steady state and capacitor can be considered as an open circuit. So we have to find open circuit voltage at this point, at these two terminal. One is here, another one is the bottom. So how to find that one? So it is connected to 50 ohm, 10 ohm and 120 volt. So if you use voltage divider rule, the voltage appearing across the 50 ohm is nothing but the open circuit voltage. So how to calculate that voltage divider rule? It is 120 into 50 ohm divided by total resistance is 50 plus 10. So this will be 100 volt. So open circuit voltage will be 100 volt. So VC of 0 plus is nothing but VC of 0 minus itself because capacitor resists abrupt change in its voltage. So VC of 0 plus also will be 100 volt. Now one more question is I of 0 plus we have to calculate. For that we do not need I of 0 minus. But what we will see, we will calculate all the values. I of 0 plus will not be 
dependent on i of 0 minus because this is resistor not inductor so i of 0 minus if you consider that is in this circuit you have only 50 volt and two resistors in series so current flowing through will be 50 by 260 that is 0.1923 ampere but i of 0 plus you have to freshly calculate here you cannot depend on the i of 0 minus so this circuit you have to consider in that i of 0 plus what is the i of 0 plus i of 0 plus you can observe here across it we have a capacitor vc so we have capacitor 50 milli so we know the voltage across this capacitor at a 0 plus instant just now we calculated vc of 0 plus is 100 volt since 200 ohm is across that it is in parallel with that capacitor i of 0 plus will be the voltage across this resistor that is vc of 0 plus divided by this resistance value so easily we can calculate it is vc of 0 plus divided by 200 because at that time vc of 0 plus voltage is across 200 ohm resistor so simply you divide by this you will get the i of 0 plus that is 0.5 ampere because vc of 0 plus is 100 volt divided by 200 0.5 ampere will get that is about the step one step two you have to consider you have to find time constant rc so capacitance straight forward 50 milli but r equivalent for what circuit you have to find for the second circuit for t greater than zero you have to find time constant so for that what is the equivalent resistance seen by capacitor for that you have to make this deactivate this voltage source so what you will get 60 ohm is in parallel with 200 ohm is in parallel with 50 ohm that will appear across capacitor so that only i have written here so 60 parallel 200 parallel 50 that will be 24 ohm and if you use time constant r equivalent into c that is 24 into 50 milli so 50 milli will be 0 0.050 so that will be 1.2 second okay now step 3 we know that response will have two parts one is natural another one is forced um, forced response natural response for that we need a constant a and e power minus t by tau tau we have calculated so we need now force response that we want what is the force response of this vc we will call it vcf voltage across capacitor vcf so what is the force response or final value of the capacitor when switch is in the position B and if it kept for a long period of time, what is the steady state voltage across capacitor? That is nothing but force response Vc of F. So in this, in this circuit, what is the final voltage or final open circuit voltage across capacitor? That we have to calculate. How to calculate that one? You can see here 50 volt that is in series with 60 ohm and you have 200 parallel 50. 200 parallel 50 so it is nothing but a voltage divider rule in which one resistance is 60 ohm another resistance is 200 parallel 50 so if you use voltage divider rule you will get to open circuit voltage so that is nothing but 50 into 200 parallel 50 divided by 60 plus 200 parallel 50. so that you will get 20 volt so if the switch is in position B and if it kept for a long period of time, what happens? A 20 volt is developed across this capacitor. Our capacitor is charged to 20 volt. Though there is a 50 volt battery, because of this voltage divider, you will get 20 volt only. And what happens to I of uh, force response of current? Force response of current, what is our final value of this current passing through this resistance? when switch is in position p if it kept for longer period of time what is the final current passing through 200 ohm that is i f of t fourth response of the current so that is nothing but we know the final voltage across 
this capacitor that just now we calculated 20 volt that same 20 voltage will appear across this resistor so final current will be easy just divide this 20 volt divided by this resistor so that will give the final current we know the final voltage across resistance divide by resistance you will get the final current so that is uh, if is vc of infinity we will call final value that is vc of infinity that's now we calculate vc of infinity or vcf also we can call 20 by 200 that is 0.1 ampere now we have force response only thing pending is in the natural response the constant a we have to find if you can find that we have solved this problem okay so first we will find vc vc of t is vc and natural response plus force response so in the natural response we have this formula a into e power minus t by tau tau we had already calculated is 1.2 plus vcf that is 20 volt and from the initial condition we have calculated first step one was to calculate this vc of 0 plus that is 100 we had calculated this one before that one you substitute and t equal to 0 you substitute here you get a into e power 0 that is a plus 20 so from that equation you will get a equal to 80 so if you substitute that in the main equation then you will get vc of t is a is 80 80 into e power minus t divided by 1.2 plus 20 that is t greater than or equal to 0 but when t is less than 0 that time that, thing, that is nothing but vc of 0 minus that we had calculated before that is 100 volt so this will be 100 volt this will be 100 volt okay so next we will calculate the current current will also have current through resistor will have same format natural response plus force response and natural response will have this a into e power minus t by tau plus force response just now calculated here if is if is 0.1 ampere so you substitute that and we will use i of 0 plus condition that we calculated before 0.5 in this equation we substitute a into e power 0 minus 0 divided by 1.2 that is e power 0 that is 1 plus 0.1 so a will be 0.4 and substitute in the main equation a is 0.4 into e power minus t by tau plus i f that is t greater than 0 so when t is greater than 0 this is this is the expression when t is less than 0 this also we had calculated before i of 0 minus so that is nothing but 0 0.1923 ampere so this will be 0 0.1923 ampere okay this is the solution so the method is same driven rl circuit driven rc circuit so method is same so we have solved one problem on driven RL also, now we have solved one problem on driven RC also.